Hello guys, I'm King Posh. How are you guys doing today? Is it working? Testing, testing. Uh, it's kind of working. Hello? Hello? Alright, it's working. So, uh, we'll just do a little test video here and let's get this done. See how this works. My mic's a little low. I don't know why. So we're gonna fix that. Fix, fix, fix. Testing, testing. Okay, been having a little issues today with my uh, Xbox, with my mic. I dropped it earlier, so uh, what we're working on is the my my Porsche here, my 914/6. All right, it's a gorgeous little car here. There's a little trunk right there. Of course, you can't see the engine because of, of the engine upgrade that I put into it, but it sounds amazing. what I did so in the conversion I went with the uh, basically the, the 3.0 liter f6 okay you have a couple options here but I went with this because you can get 861 horsepower out of this so it's really good okay of course it's all wheel drive and it's a turbo okay uh, everything in the engine is race. Everything in platform and handling is also in race except for uh, roll cage. You don't need it. Uh, Drivetrain, everything put in race mode. Tires and rims. Uh, stock tires stock with uh, any rim that you guys want. No aero in appearance. You don't need any of it. Okay. So let's go right into the tune. Let me show you what I did. You guys can pause at any time and uh, copy down whatever you need. And this, uh, this setup really works well with uh, engines that are in the back, like mid-engines, the ones that are right behind the back seats. This is what this tune's for. There's tunes for the ones that are right above the, um, the wheels, there's ones for right behind the seats, and of course my front uh, engine ones. So they're all different. They all act different. You might see my tunes, they, they act the same with different platforms. It's because I'm trying to work around them and trying to make them similar. So you can uh, use any car in the game and you're not, you know, having to really change much of what you do when you're going sideways. So now I'm going to go do a test drive on Catalina School. I'm going to do two laps on it, but I'm not going to say anything because there's no point you guys won't be able to hear me. So uh, we'll, we'll get through this and, uh, and I'll talk afterwards uh, just a little bit before I, uh, I, I go to my next video. So thanks for watching guys and hopefully this uh, helps you out. do cat hmm actually let's really get let's go right to this one right here the club circuit instead since more than likely you're gonna pick this car or this tune you're gonna put it on a car and you're gonna go online with it and this is the first thing that's gonna come up <laughs>
our first lap. So there you have it, 81,000 a lap on Alps Club. I can really push it up there. I've done it. That's why I changed it. it. Used to be 80. I was like, that's all I could hit, and I hit an 81 uh, the other night, and I was really surprised about it. And so I put it up to 81,000 a lap on Club, 38k a uh, lap on Catalina School. All tracks ready, and it really is. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, and I hope it helped you out. Uh, my, my next videos are all going to be some of my best uh, drifters, like my uh, Mazda RX-7 and everything. So um, that'll probably be next, and you guys will get to see that. So thank you for watching again, and I'll talk to you guys soon.